ha <laughs> ha. Over three months after my order was placed, I finally got my product. Thank you, TCG Player. Thank you, Postal Service. Thank you, United States Postal Service, for not only damaging my order, luckily the card was fine, but it took you over three months later, and I already got my refund. Thank you for helping me make money. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's dive on into it, shall we? This is gonna be hilarious. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off that subscribe button so we can climb even further beyond the 1K ladder, so close to 1,100 subscribers, and also subscribe, hit the like button, also the ding-dong Taco Bell notification bell, so that your TCG player order does not arrive over three months later. Jesus Christ. So, let's rewind the clocks back, as Heath Ledger's Joker said in that Batman movie. <laughs> Uh, to over three months ago. If you remember, uh, TCG Player had Cashteria Unicorns for sale, or rather, people on TCG Player were selling Cashteria Unicorns for $13. The Cashteria support had been revealed a little bit before then, but I was starting to pick up my Cashteria stuff. I wanted to get in early. And Fenrir's around the time were about 50 to 60 bucks. It was, you know, kind of whatever. Stuff was sort of on the down low. Well, Cashteria Unicorns have since gone up, but I bought three unicorns at $13 a piece. Now, again, this was over three months ago, and I made an order from a, I can't even really read this. This is K Chaos TCG Collection out of Phoenix, Arizona. And it is dated uh, May 16th of last year. So what is that, like over three months ago? I'm not even gonna try and do that off the top of my head, but it's dated May 16th of 2022, right? So like what, like over three months, something like that? So I made the order and the order didn't come in for like over a week and a half. Like I'm pretty lenient when I make TCG player orders. If I buy from you, I'm gonna give you a bit of time before I request a refund. So both of my unicorns came in, other stuff I ordered for the cash tier deck came in and the third unicorn never did. Well now, lo and behold, over three months later, however long it's been, the unicorn came in and it was not damaged at all. I know it's in a sleeve, but that's because I was putting together my cash tier stuff since my case for Hypernova is going to be here in a couple weeks. Um, there is no damage to the card at all. <laughs> now look, <clears throat> after all this time since May, what is this, June, July, August? Wait, no, it's been way more than that. It's been almost a damn year. <laughs> this is how it came in. Not only that, but it came in this little happy condom sack. <laughs> and I love how it says, United States Postal Service, we care. No, you don't. Look at this shit. It's a little happy condom sack. <laughs> oh my Lord. Bruh, we paid $13 for this Cash Tiri Unicorn and Chaos TCG Collection with the little, it looks like it's written in crayon, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, they, they gave me my refund. Now, before you get angry in the comments and say, oh, Avery, you're trying to rip this person off, da, da, da. I asked for my refund, oh, shit, two weeks after I made this order. I got my refund. Now, the way the TCG player works is that most likely what Chaos TCG Collection, at least I hope to God this is what they fucking did, is that they made a, they filed a complaint with the United States Postal Service about a missing uh, order or a missing product, missing envelope. And so once he made that claim with the Postal Service, it goes to the Postal Service. He also contacts TCG Player. TCG Player will straight up refund the seller for the amount that was paid to them. So at the time, Cash Tier Unicorns were going for $13. Chaos TCG Collection most likely got his refund of $13. TCG player just bites the bullet and, you know, that's how it goes. And then hopefully Chaos TCG Collection gets his card back. Well, he didn't get his card back or she, whatever. Uh, instead, it came to me. Now, you're probably going to say, well, Avery, you should still send the card back. No, I fucking won't because I paid $13 for the card. I got my refund. 
However, Chaos TCG Collection, he still got, he or she, whatever the fuck, they still got fucking paid because most likely, again, I hope to God they did this, they went to TCG Player and the Postal Service said that there was a missing package somewhere in the world and then they put it in this little happy sack from fucking May and they finally give it to me as it comes in damaged like a fucking dog ate this after it ate my neighbor kid's homework. Like, what? Like, th this is insanity to me. So now you're probably wondering, well, Avery, how much are unicorns now? <laughs> They're $25 to $30. <laughs> Bruh, we got a $30 unicorn for free. Now, normally, like, I would be pissed off about something like this, right? But I mean, I'm not because I just made $30 for free. Actually, I made over $30 because I didn't have to pay $13 out of the gate. I got my $13 back plus $30. So... Uh, we could turn around and sell this unicorn for 50 once the deck is tier one. <laughs> now, again, again, I want to reiterate, Chaos TCG still got their money because they go to the Postal Service, they go to TCG Player, explain the situation, they're waiting for the card to come back to them. TCG Player, at least what should have happened, was bite the bullet and give that person their $13. Everybody makes out happy. And the difference between like trying to rip someone off saying that you didn't get an order would be like if I did get this order and said, hey, I never got it. I didn't do that. I genuinely did not get this piece of crap and said, hey, can I get a refund? And I got my refund. Now, it should have Chaos TCG put tracking on it? Sure. I mean, that does cost money for $13, maybe you don't really need to. And this is in no way me attacking Chaos TCG. This is on the fucking postal service. For it to end up like this, this is not Chaos TCG Collection's fault. Also, go and check them out on TCG Player. Really cool people, um, very willing to work with me on getting my refund, so re really cool. Even though it says Chaos TCG Collection I, Yu-Gi-Oh, and it's like written in colored pencil or crayon or something. I don't know. I can't read it. Maybe it was a kid. I don't know. Um, all jokes aside, <clears throat> uh, shout out to them. Be sure to go shop from their TCG. Um, but the Postal Service is the one that screwed up this envelope. Like for it to come in this little happy sack condom thing, it got damaged as it was being shipped to me back in May. <laughs> so the, the Postal Service screwed up here. And this isn't the first time that the United States Postal Service has just screwed up. Now, should I even attempt to send this card back, like in, in all seriousness? No, because again, this order is from May, ladies and gentlemen. So there is no reason for me to even try and send the card back when the envelope looks like a dog shit on it. And on top of that, like the card may never even get back to Chaos TCG. So I'm better off just holding on to it. <laughs> So, at the end of the day, he most likely should have got his money. I got my refund, so I'm happy. And I got a free cash tier unicorn that I'm so glad I don't have to pay $25 to $30 for in order to complete my play set. <laughs> oh, my Lord. But this does bring up a bigger point of the United States Postal Service sucks. And if you are going to be a seller on whether it's eBay, TCG Player, I think the EU, I have a lot of European viewers use, uh, I think it's Card Market. Put tracking on your stuff, ask for a signature, do something. If you got to charge a little bit extra for shipping to get that tracking, do that. And honestly, all jokes aside, this is the sole reason, if I can get a better zoom in on it, this right here is the sole reason as to why I don't want to sell on things like eBay and TCG Player. Because with my luck, I'm going to lose out on a card that eventually goes to the moon in price. So, ladies and gentlemen, you got to be careful with the postal service, put tracking on it, put it in, I don't know, a double envelope or something. Again, this isn't the seller's fault. This is just totally the United States postal service's fault. That's why they give you a little condom happy sack, but man, y'all got to be careful out there. It's a jungle. It's a jungle, ladies and gentlemen, but thank you chaos TCG collection for sending me a near mint. I think it's first dead. Yeah, I think it's first dead. I can't read it. It's too dark in my room, but a first edition near mint cash tier unicorn. Now I've got my playset and I've already had my playset of Fenders and those are 70 a piece. <laughs> Guys, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Should I attempt to send this card back? All jokes aside, do you think I should attempt to send this card back or just hold on to it? I'd be interested to see what you guys have to say. Because again, this is from May. So if I attempt it, it may not ever get back to Phoenix, Arizona. I'd be better off just driving to this person's house and just giving it back to them. So 
Let me know what you guys think I should do. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.